I'm on it. I am on the Old Salmon Falls Bridge. sunny California. I am on a trail to the Old Salmon Falls Bridge. The nearby lake is called Folsom Lake, but it is actually just a dammed up portion of the American River. And in the mid 1800s, gold was discovered near here, and a group of people known as the Mormon Battalion actually settled the area that is now under Folsom Lake. An area that was flooded when the lake was created was known as Salmon Falls. There used to be an actual series of waterfalls in the river in this area, and when it was settled to look for gold, got up to a population of about 3,000, and it was eventually flooded when the lake was created by the dam. So what you basically have out here is a wide section of the American River that in normal years is Folsom Lake. But this area is interesting because when the water is low enough, usually like in a drought year, not only do the remains of Salmon Falls appear because the water level drops low enough, but there's also supposed to be an old bridge out here. And if the bridge is above the water, I want to see it. I really like bridges and I like old cool stuff. If I can get across this bridge, I can actually get to the other side of this peninsula and I'll be able to take what's called the Darrington Trail back up to the new Salmon Falls Bridge, hike across it and come back to my car here at the Sweetwater Trail. So if all that works out, it's going to be pretty cool. Going to get to see a cool bridge, hopefully some cool old ruins. Um, it has been raining all day, so I'm hoping that the weather today will mean that not a lot of people are out here because this is a pretty heavily populated area from what I read. Anyway, it's just kind of a neat, misty morning. It's interesting to see all of the uh, digging out here. Just these giant piles of river rock all over both sides of the American River. Makes for some fun exploration. Expecting this, some actual hills out here. You probably can't see this, but that is it. It looks like once I'm off this hill, probably not too hard to get down there. But cool, the bridge is showing, so that's exciting. It looks like this trail actually goes pretty far from where I want to end up. So I'm just gonna see if I can just climb down to the bottom of this.
Woo. Yeah, you can tell this is usually all underwater. I'm just gonna go down here. Hope that this lake bed isn't too smushy and just cut across. It's so weird on the map, this is all underwater. Walking across the ancient seabed of Folsom Lake. The ground isn't too bad out here. Definitely a bit mushy, but probably nothing like quicksand or anything. Probably. Oh, and there's the creek that I crossed earlier. Cool. There's all these little like cement diversion dams and stuff up here. Probably a nice little rapid right here when the water's really going. Salmon Falls Bridge. Awesome. All along this little creek bed here, I see concrete structures. There's just pieces of stuff all over the place. You can see from the bands in the ground where the different water levels are, and that a lot of this stuff would be underwater at certain times of the year. This trail seems pretty well established. I don't imagine that it goes under all the time, but interesting to think that you could be standing here and just see nothing but water right here. The map actually shows this trail underwater, which is kind of fun to look at on the satellites. Right now though, it's just the river. You can see it flowing out there in that gap in the ground. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to get on this bridge because that would be cool. I have heard it said that Folsom Lake needs to get down to uh, below 400 feet. And once it does, the water that would normally back up here dries out enough to expose the bridge. I have to assume that a lot of these are indeed the old structures. I think I'm actually gonna go out here and check some of this out before I go to the bridge. Doesn't look like it's gonna go under today. It's funny, in these kinds of areas in California, it's hard to really know if you're looking at something, you know, like really ancient or if it's just something that was used briefly and then buried underwater and kind of artificially aged. But you can definitely tell that there were a number of structures out here. You see concrete footings and then piles of rock. Of course, you also see ancient Coors beer cans. All right, so like, check this place out. Like, this obviously isn't natural. I found an actual foundation. This is definitely an old building site. Oh, <laughs> how cool is this? and then the basement of some structure. Another set of stairs. Beautiful area.
not sure I'm gonna be coming back this way, so I kinda gotta check everything out. So I'm on full on lake bed right now. This is basically just kind of this little gorge that runs underwater usually. Ah, but there's this cool thing out here. Not a lot of places in California where a river is like a major landmark, but the American River pretty much defines this area. A lot of California history is basically in debt to this river. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm the only one that knows about this place, <laughs> but I'm still gonna go check it out for sure. Because how cool is that? An underwater bridge. Okay, it looks like I may have a short window of opportunity to get to the bridge if I can get ahead of these people to my right. So I'm gonna try to just jam up here, see if I can't get some good footage without people in it. Looks like the remnants of another bridge here. So another few miles up river is a bridge that connects this area to Pilot Hill, and it is the new Salmon Falls Bridge. This is the old one. All right, I'm gonna get some shots before these people get here. Crazy to think this thing is underwater. Cool, I'm gonna be able to get on it. All right, let's do it. I'm on it. I am on the old Salmon Falls Bridge. So this is like the bottom of the lake when the water's flowing. And here's the other side. Yeah, that's not at all creepy.
All right, so there you have it, folks. That is the Salmon Falls Bridge. Again, normally underwater. And you can kind of tell from the land, the different water levels. It's kind of amazing. This was like a whole town out here. And now it's just underwater and has a bunch of creepy rock formations. So my plan is to continue on across the river hike up the Darrington Trail to the new Salmon Falls Bridge, and then back down to the car. But there is still plenty of weird stuff around here to look at, which I dig.